I know a girl who you who was working with you for a period of time, and then all of a sudden you let her go. And like from my perspective, I was just like, you know, whoa, like what what's going on with her? Like I was worried. Was that recently or way back? Then? Relatively recently, yeah. Oh, and I was start I, with a G. Huh? Yes, I right. was a little worried though. I'm like, what she got going on that that Spiegler let her go? Because I know that you have that being signed with you is such a prestigious thing that realistically, like almost no girl is going to walk away from working with you unless it's forced upon them, right? Well, yeah, I mean, like the last one left was like maybe two, three years ago, and that was because another agent. We don't represent guys, right? And she had a boyfriend who was kind of like a a mope you know not like going to, and the agent said oh if you come with us we'll get him work mm. which she went with them and they don't really get him that much work but but uh before that like maybe one will leave every three four years right and um i mean honestly you, could, you know i don't know if gina if you you know ask but yeah whatever yeah, she knows. Her out, why, not? <laughs> but, why, why did that particular relationship not work out i mean i, I love it i still hang out with gina but She's just not, you know, she's very Brazilian, not like super dedicated to getting up on time and showing mm. up on time and this and that. And um, our girls are known, known for being like super reliable and, you know, always showing up and, and um, you know, and also they, because they are, they get a lot of work. Our girls work more than anybody, they get paid more than anybody, but like a lot of these companies, Brazzers and Kink and whatever, they book our girls out of town a lot because they know... Mm. They will get on the plane. They'll show up, this and that. And if I, I tell the girls, you got three jobs with us. There's a fucking and sucking. And then there's two tough ones. Don't make me look bad and don't give me shit to worry about. Mm -hmm. So if I have to worry about stuff, that that's it. And it's, But it's, it's interesting. Would you say the average person who, who gets into your job role is doing it because they're really horny? Because you don't really seem like that type. And I've talked to plenty of girls. I'm like, Spiegler, he's not like that. They're like, nope, nope, nope. No, nah, I mean, uh, first of all, it's not a good idea to shit where you eat. I only went out with one porn girl that was like in the maybe early, mid, early 2000s. You gave her a few tries on dates or what? Uh, I went out with her. But also, first of all, even if you're not, the, if you pay more attention to one girl than the others, mm -hmm. they get upset. I, bet. I won't carry a girl's luggage. I won't this or that because they, you know. So if you're dating one, even if I was dating a girl that's not important, they don't like it. Mm. <laughs> it's true, right? Yeah. And um, so, you know, I don't know. It's it's. Uh, but a lot of the, a lot of people get into this. First of all, a lot of male talent get into this because they're losers and can't get laid in real life. Myself included, yeah. Yeah, but serious that you know, if you see like some of these people in real life, they're being. Mm, but um, but a lot of the agents, I think a lot of them really get into it because they think there's going to be a fortune, you know, a ton of money, mm -hmm. and it's really easy. Right. And I mean, like, some of the smaller agents, for them, it might be what they consider a ton of money, and they don't have to, you know, a lot of them get shit wrong and this and that, but if you get, like, some high girls, people still want to hire them. Mm. So for them, they're making way more than they would in an office job, and not really straining themselves. Right. You know, it's, it's interesting for a lot of people, they might not really understand that you're the agent. So you work directly with the girls and then these adult companies, whether it's Vixen or, uh, you know, Pornhub or, or no, no, sorry, Brazzers, whoever, they come to you and they basically rely on you to make these shoots happen. That's like the... the they the they count on, I mean, that's like, like some agents they won't work with, you know, or other ones, like I remember saying... This guy fucked something up, and um, and uh, he goes, "Oh, I'm going to call him and straighten it out." And I and I call Brazzers first. I go, "This guy's going to call you straighten out, but don't answer." They go, "We don't talk to the guy on the phone. He's on a need to text basis because he fucks up so much. You know, they want it in black and white, white." But um, the fact that we do, like, like I said, I double and triple check when the testing. You know, I tell the girls the day before they have to get tested. First of all, our girls always have an overlapping test. Mm. The test never expires. But I always tell them the day before, you have to get tested tomorrow. Then I tell them that day, you have to get tested. Um, Is this you know, all in your head, or do you have like a, a calendar I update that reminds you? Yeah. And uh, I schedule it in there for them. And, you know, things are moving around all the time. It's like, you know, a matrix. But, um, you know, we... So I got to always make sure they got a good test. And when I, I you know, I... Some people in porn, I'll get the info for the girl shoot like the day before or not even till the night before. Mm. And I send it to them, make sure they get it. But if I get it like some of the bigger companies, I'll get it a few days before. I send it to the girl. I'll still 
double check that I have a t- double check you have tomorrow's info to, I even double and triple you know and, and also the little details that matter they need black heels for this mm. if they want your nails French manicured you forget that you you screw up a whole shoot mm. I've only made 15 mistakes since 1999 and what, what are like how big does it have to be for you to consider it a mistake well like sending a girl to shoot and say um tell her uh, makeup is there and, and she was supposed to do her own makeup right but um but it didn't mess up the shoot but uh still i don't like to make mistakes i have so much respect for that because like for uh, for instance i just did an interview uh i thought that interview was thursday so i was like sitting around on thursday and then i finally realized i had to check my email boom nope it's saturday just a regular day in the life, you know, just fucking stuff up. Do, do you, have you always had that kind of mind state where you're just like really focused and really organized? I mean, I don't know when I was younger, but like now, I mean, it's for, you know, it's, it's being professional, you know, you, and also like, you know, the girls count on us, but also the companies count on us mm. to, and that's why they use our, you know, our girls are really good, but that's also another reason why they use our girls a lot. Is because like I had like kink dot com when they were in uh, in San Francisco, I booked girls with them eleven hundred times, mm. and they have to get on a plane, fly to Oakland, get on a van. You know, we've only had three girls in that whole time that missed a flight, and out of those three, two were on the next flight and still made it in time. One there was no next flight to Oakland, so I made her um, get her own flight to San Francisco directly and take a cab there, but. Out of the 1,100 of them, 1,100 of them made it. See, I mean, it's just such a rare quality to see somebody who, A, takes a job that it seems like most people don't have this attitude towards and then just does such a ridiculously good job of that job. And also where it seems like you're willing to just go the extra mile in situations where you probably don't really have to, where the company, the, the porn company would be forgiving. You know, in a situation as a business owner, you're always trying to balance in your head like the risk versus the, uh, the, the cost that you're going to be taking. And it seems like you are so one-sided in your yeah, your I'm dedication it, to being I'm perfect, do it right, and and the girls are going to do it right. Mm. So, what kind of girl catches your eye? What what does a girl need to have to become well, part of the team? Like I said, we want them to be good looking. Um, I want the girl to be a pervert because I want them to be doing this not just for the money, but because that's really what they they're into. Have you seen that where you have girls come in and then they're they're genuinely not that excited about having sex and it just doesn't last? Yeah, I mean, you know. Like, uh, should I? Have yes, you, yes. I have, Air it like, out. Like Lana Rhodes or something. No. Oh yeah, Lana Rhodes. Yeah. I have heard the. She's. But, a, I mean, Lana Rhodes is like, and I will. I'll, I'm not a big fan, but I'll say that she's one of the hottest girls in porn, probably. Oh, she was. But she's not really a pervert. No, I mean, I don't think she was. She just thought she was gonna scam a bunch of people, make a bunch of money, and that would be it. Really? Yeah. Like. I don't know what she's talking but, about. But when you say scam? Like like when she was living in my place, she she lived in my building. She was like, I'm fostering dogs. Send me stuff for dogs. And then she had one dog, but she just didn't want to buy it stuff. And, right. And she thinks she thinks the fans are dumb and they're going to, you know. Oh, so she made kind of a, a messy exit there? Well... Yeah, we you know we dropped her. I don't know, you know. No, no, I know. But uh, so, but when you look at it, like, she didn't show up for a party she was supposed to be at, mm. and she was doing something that she shouldn't be at that time, but didn't know that I knew, and that was the end of that. Oh, uh, okay. Well, hey, I mean, it's, it's it's just great to know that you have such a dedication to the craft. When you say that you want a girl to be a pervert, though. Have you had girls where you thought that they were the right amount of pervert, but then you found out that they were actually, like, way too much of a pervert, just a little bit too grimy? No. I mean, I'll take... And also, another thing that's important for me is that I want them to be smart, Mm. which you take a hot chick, and if they're smart, that was way hotter than me. Mm. And if they're a pervert and all that stuff, that's, like, a pervert. I mean, like, we have some girls that would be doing this for free. Mm. I wouldn't let them do it for free, <laughs> but they'd be doing it for, you know, this is kind of, you know, what they're, you know. I had a girl, I don't know if you watch a lot of porn, right? um, you know who Annette Schwartz was? Uh, she no. was like one of the dirtiest, filthiest whores. <laughs> I mean, in the most loving way possible. Right. I mean, like a lot of the male town were afraid to work with her. Really? Yeah, six foot tall, German. She was the hardest core chick in the history of porn. Scared to work with her? She was just too aggressive? She injured a lot of guys. Really? Yeah. I, I've, I've... I said, she was on set, she tore some guy's toenail off during the scene. 
What? Yeah. With her teeth or something? I have no idea. I didn't even want to know. Whoa. I never would have ever even considered that. That sounds amazing. But that chick, Tony yeah, she, yeah. Somebody she, told me that we should be really careful if we ever came close to hooking up with Nicola Shea because she's just so ruthless. She's I'm crazy. Smashing up and down the and dick I mean, that I'm might not, get I'm injured. Not, but, no, yeah. She's a little crazy. Yeah. Yeah. She's out there. But, but I mean, I've never seen her do a scene. Right. But I've seen her in person a lot of times. And but you don't manage male talent. No. No interest. They'd be way worse than girls. Right. They, they, first of all, a guy, okay, a, a, a girl, a, a female needs you to get them started. Then if they do well, they're going to go for a while, and then they need you to keep them going. Right. Um, a guy needs you to get them started, and then if they're any good, they, you know, like I help, like, Tony Rebus, Manuel, and a bunch of them when they first came to America. Right. Steve Holmes, a lot of... But if they're good, they don't really need an agent. You know, they could be 45 years old and still working, no problem. Right. Or Steve Holmes is probably older than that. But, uh, but uh, so guys don't really... You know, they're not going to listen. They think they know everything after... I mean, some girls think they know everything after six months, but they come to realize they don't. 